Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on GDB and this video is about jumping too much in the stack like you have recursive call maybe it is going maybe beyond 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 5 lakhs then you cannot just do up next BD and all that okay because that is going to kill the entire universe okay so just imagine you have this factorial function I hope you know what is factorial is the answer for this factorial 5 is 120 we all know that let me just put this into the debugger and i'll show you like what i'm talking about actually i already have so i will put the breakpoint here and i'll say okay run it was running and then after completing all the stacks now it has encountered the terminating condition meaning we should have all the backtracks here see yes so from main it called n with 5 and then it was recursively called till n is equal to 1 and then when we did n minus 1 in that case it became 0 and now we are here now what i was trying to explain you is just assume that you have a very big stack i mean call stack here not only this 5 maybe 5 lakhs so how would you move so fast so if you notice here we are at zeroth stack so generally we are at zero stack when we put the breakpoint and hit the breakpoint then from there you can type up now you are at zero's location you can go up i would say if i'll say up it will go one frame up so now it is at frame one you just see this this is the frame number so we were at zero now we are at frame one if i will tell okay go up again then it will go to frame two so default you would have guessed it is one now you can say up maybe two sorry yeah so notice this we are at fourth frame now so we skipped third frame so like this you can use this up command to go up in the stack and see where the things are going wrong i mean why the output is not the way it should be i mean you can basically debug the perfect frame and you can reach to that frame pretty fast and similarly you have down also if i'll put enter we were at four now we are at three if i'll put enter again meaning down again so we were at three now we are at two so down is also working in the similar way it will go down in the stack like it will go towards zero and of course we have down also with default number one but you can give any like two and let's say you are giving 200 then it will give you the bottom most frame let's say if I am giving you up 200, maybe like this, yeah, you will be going to the uppermost frame. That's quite obvious. But here is one thing. So we are at, yeah, if you will hit F and enter, it will tell you where are you right now. So we are at frame number, sorry, 13. Okay. So this is line number of the code. This is the frame number. Hash is the frame number. So we are at frame number six, meaning we are already on the top. Now, if I want to say go to bottom or in reverse way i can tell go up minus one then it will go to frame number five okay so this negative thingy also works in this ways and similarly for down also if i will say down minus one then it will go to six so it was supposed to go down but as you have put minus at front of your number it will do the reverse now let's talk about exactly reaching to the frame number generally you don't know the frame number in the beginning that's why it's very hard but if i will say frame number and just say one hit enter it will take you to that frame number if i'll say frame number six it will take you to that frame number and if i'm saying maybe seven then it is telling no frames at level seven okay so this is having some verbos here but this makes sense when you already know the stack and you have come across the same stack like multiple times and now you remember the number of the stack because in the beginning you don't know what is the number so this is how it goes first you will use up and down so that you will debug where i should be and maybe you will do some changes and stuff and then you will come back and maybe you will directly hit that frame and want to check okay is that fixed or like what is the next problem so believe me guys knowing this much would help you like anything because when i used to debug i even didn't know this much also so i hope you learned something new today thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next videos bye bye and keep learning